Good morning, guys. I just got my son off to school and I just wanted to make a video and say hi. As you guys know, I'm still alive and all that. Um, yeah, social media is, oh, by the way, I um, put color oops on my hair because I dyed my hair dark brown, it's natural color. But it was just, I felt like it was looking a little harsh. So it lightened it up just a little, I would say. Especially near the roots, but whatever. Color oops. It's all fluffy. I've started doing this thing where I wash my hair twice on the roots. And then on the below the ears is where I apply the conditioner, but not to my roots so that um, my, st my hair stays, um, so that my hair stays, not looking greasy for longer. So I was just watching some hair videos because I, I want to grow my hair out. So I learned that a lot of people do this thing where they wash the hair twice and then below the ears from here down is where they apply conditioner. And so that's what I started doing because my hair can get greasy fast and who like, no one likes that. So that's, well actually even with blonde hair, greasy hair doesn't look good, but um, yeah, I've been blessed with those productive oil glands <laughs> but anyways um but my hair still looks basically the same color is still pretty intensely dark which is fine because that's my natural hair color as an adult and part of it is just embracing my natural hair color and also you know there's got to be some thing to the fact that that's the way god made me you know like when i was younger I had lighter hair and as I got older, it got darker to dark brown, which looks black, but it's um, dark brown hair. Even black hair is not really black. It's actually just very dark brown. Interesting fact. But um, I just wanted to say, <laughs> I've seen quite a few trolls. I, when I was looking at my comments on YouTube and um, I don't use meth. I don't use any hard drugs. And I've seen people saying horrible things like my, I don't even want to say it, but my beloved baby should be taken away. My 10 year old, so, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's because people are in this weird time right now where it's like, Everyone's being pitted against each other on the basis of race and gender, and it's so gross. And the fact that um, God has put me in this circumstance, I know what I'm right where I need to be. Okay. Um, in this circumstance, to be a stay-at-home mom, um, it's the right fit for me, and it's the right fit for my son. It's the right fit for my whole family. It's just what's healthiest for me and my son. And I'm not ashamed of it at all. And I'm not bagging on mothers that work, you know? And I just, I just really think that people just need to stop being mean on the internet. Like I've seen such awful comments like People saying, I don't speak meth, you know, like if I did meth, it would be really obvious. Okay. I don't use meth or any hard drugs. I don't even smoke pot. Okay. But anyways, um, I think that's kind of obvious, but, um, it's just trolls, you know, trolls and, and people saying that it'd be better if I worked and my son was in full time child care looking at this one 
yeah, okay, whatever. There's this culture of men against women. I don't play into it, okay? I'm the mother of a 10-year-old son. Why would I play into the man-hating thing out there, you know? I don't play into that, okay? But there's also this toxic, I don't know if it's called being blackpilled or something, where it's like men and women fall prey to this, where it's like they just don't like women, they don't trust women, and in it, especially if you're a traditional in any way, shape, or form, you know, and you're, you've made it your um, service in this life to be a mother, and that's your, I wouldn't call it a job, it's more of a, it's just what I am, it's what I do, um, to put that down and try to act like it's disgraceful or lazy, and it's just so stupid and like I say, hats off to women that work and raise children. I, I don't know how you do it because, but, but I'm not putting it down. Sometimes you just have to work, you know. I'm in a position where I don't have to work. M me and my son live with my parents because of. I don't want to talk bad about his dad. His dad has made very poor life choices. That's all I'm going to say about that. He decided to abandon us. Okay. Um, so I'm doing what I have to do, you know, to be a good mom. And I'm not worried about being in relationships. The last thing I want is a, a relationship with a man. And it's not because I don't like men. It's because... I don't want to be bringing boyfriends around my son, you know, I just, and that's a big sacrifice, um, to some people, to me, it's not, it's just, it's just how I'm wired. And if you're wired differently, that's okay too. It doesn't make you a slut or anything, but me being celibate and just focusing on being a mom, that is what brings me peace and happiness and joy. So, um, to all the haters out there that put these evil comments that are wicked, um, you're really just exposing yourself, you know? And I pray that, um, you are relieved from whatever condition you have, whether it's psychopathy, which is the lack of empathy for others or a judgmental spirit or just hating yourself so much that you have to attack people, you know? I pray for you people that say stuff like, oh, you're on meth or you shouldn't be able to raise your child. You people that say that are wicked and you are full of demons and just, how dare you? And I rebuke everything you guys that are haters and have said those horrible things about me. In Jesus' name, I rebuke it. I rebuke you. In Jesus' name, amen. And then there's the issue of whether someone's pretty or not. I don't care if people think I'm pretty or not. I'm going to keep being me. If I feel like doing a makeup tutorial, I'll do a makeup tutorial. If I feel like showing my pets, I'll show my pets. My son doesn't want to be recorded. He's 10 years old. That's fine. Um, there's even idiots out there going, obviously you're not a good mother because you have time to make YouTube videos. You've got to be kidding me. I literally am at home with my son all the time. It's like they just want to, these trolls, they just want to just beat you down to where you don't even want to make a YouTube video because they're so mad that you have light, that I have light within me that shines. They want to dim it. 
you're not going to dim it. But I am going to delete your comments because they are disgusting. And I don't want lustful comments. I don't want people coming on here saying TTs and um, I'm in love with you. You don't know me. You could like me. You could admire me. You're doing it from afar. I don't want the weird, creepy stuff. And I don't want the trolls. Okay? I'm taking care of me and my family. That's all that matters to me is my God and my family. And I make content when I feel like it. And I would like this channel to be successful. And I would like healthy respect towards me. But that's a lot to ask for in this day and age. But I'm not gonna feed into it. Just I just know, just know that I know you're wicked. People that leave those disgusting evil comments, you're wicked and you're projecting your own insecurities. And the person that put the comment about saying that I'm on meth, you're projecting. So obviously maybe you have a problem with that. Cause obviously I don't, I have some LBs to lose. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's just, I can't say that the comments don't hurt my feelings because they do. They give you that twinge of pain in your heart and in your mind and your soul. But it's like, at the same time, I know these people are coming from such a dark place of hatred. I put it in context and I know they're only doing it to try to get me to go away and to not be myself and to not let my light shine. People like that, you're not going to succeed. Okay. All right. I'm not going anywhere. Much love and joy and peace to everyone out there. I love you guys all and God bless you all in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Talk to you later. And hello to my new subscribers. I love you guys. I'm Christian. I'm conservative, conservative. And, um, I love all people and um, that's just who I am. I love all animals. It's just who I am, how God made me and I don't want any negativity coming at me. But when you let your light shine, there are going to be people that are threatened by it. And so they're going to leave mean comments, you, you know whatever okay there's no excuse for it it's but it's disgusting I am it's like part of me just wants to leave those comments up so these people can just be exposed and show who they are but at the same time there's such wicked curseful words that I'm not going to leave them up because people saying that I'm on meth or that my child should be taken away I feel like those are blatant curses spoken out against me and I'm not going to leave your curseful words up first of all I'm covered by the blood of Jesus me and my whole family because I pray so you you can't curse me okay but just know I am under the protection of the Lord Jesus Christ and I suggest you get right with God because if you were you would not be leaving comments like that this is to the few of the haters the rest of you, I have no problem with you tonight. I love you. But uh, when you have that wicked spirit, you want to bring others down. You want to drag them into the muck with you. Into the pits of your own dark hell. So I can't say I don't have compassion for people like that. But I'm also rightfully and righteously disgusted by them. <laughs> so anyways, I love you, you guys. Have a great blessed day and don't 
let the haters get to you. I suggest everyone make a platform on YouTube and air your thoughts, your this and that when you have the time, when you feel like it. Sometimes I don't have the time and sometimes I just plain old don't feel like it because of my own health issues and things going on in my life and being a busy mom and just being busy in general with all my pets and my other interests. So I love you guys. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. I just wanted to drop in and say hello and rebuke the haters. <laughs> you know, it's, it's beyond haters. It's, it's really spiritual attack, you know? So like I said, I don't care if you think I'm pretty. I don't care if you think I'm ugly. It's not, it has nothing to do with anything. It's about what's in here. You should judge people by the content of their character. And no one is perfect. Everyone has made mistakes. And I've aired my mistakes. And I'm not ashamed. I've been through life. And I'm 45 years old. I've been through things. But I'm here now. It's just a shining example that there is the other side. Um, you can come out the other side more beautiful inside and out than you were when you were being deceived by people and deceived by the workers of darkness in this world. So anyways, I love you guys. Keep yourself prayed up. God is your refuge. God is your hiding place. I just urge you to, to pray for yourself to be covered by the blood of Jesus and for him to protect you and your family spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, and financially. Every day, every night, every morning. I'll say a prayer with you guys. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask for your protection, your guidance, your love, and your wisdom over me and the people that watch my channel to fill their heart with wisdom, with peace, and your Holy Spirit. And with that comes the fruits of the Spirit. And if you don't know what the fruits of the Spirit are, look that up. It's, it's good stuff. So I just wish you all love, joy, abundance, to know that you're loved and you're never alone. And just health, wealth, success, empathy for yourself and others, because you can't have empathy for yourself. I mean, empathy for others if you don't have empathy for yourself and forgiveness for yourself, you can't have that for others. And you can't be non judgmental towards others if you're judging yourself. So forgive yourself, but also and change improve improve and change what you need to do i'm also speaking to myself and just help us lord lead us lord lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for, that, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever in jesus mighty name amen i love you guys have a great day and a great week oh it's tgif thank god it's friday i love you guys talk to you later